What's the law on bed bugs in Colorado? So when a tenant notifies the landlord of bed bugs or possible bed bugs, they have to send an exterminator to do an inspection in 96 hours. If they find bed bugs, then they have to do what's called a clover inspection, which means they have to inspect all the surrounding units. And then they have to come up with a building wide eradication plan within five days. And if they don't, then it violates the warranty of habitability. If my apartment has bed bugs and I move out, will I get it in my new place? Well, bed bugs are notorious hitchhikers. Um, so they often travel on people, clothing, purses, backpacks, furniture. So it's very likely and very possible that you may bring it to your new place. Can you still get bed bugs if you're clean? Yes. Clean people get bed bugs all the time. As long as there's blood, bed bugs will be more than happy to go there. What's a common myth about bed bugs? And the most common myth is that you have to be dirty to get bed bugs, but the reality is that bed bugs don't care about dirt. They're not attracted to dirt, they're only attracted to blood. So they could be anywhere from a five-star hotel to the poorest hotel or apartment out there and everywhere in between. It really has nothing to do with dirt or filth or anything like that. Are there health risks associated with bed bug bites? Yes, there are. I mean, bed bugs have not been shown to transmit diseases. However, the bites themselves can be very itchy and people will scratch them quite often, which oftentimes leads to infections. Also, most people that have bed bugs have a very difficult time sleeping, which can have a tremendous impact on your health. And so if you're repeatedly not sleeping, you're gonna have difficulties driving, going to work, concentrating at work, concentrating at school. We've seen cases where children were not able to even go to school because they were being bitten by bed bugs and could never sleep. I recently got bed bugs, but my landlord won't fix the issue. What should I do now? Well, if you've notified your landlord of the issue and they haven't done anything in 96 hours, then I would just move out because the law says they have to send somebody out to inspect in 96 hours. If they haven't done that and they haven't treated it, your property is now uninhabitable and you should just move out. What should I do if my landlord doesn't fix my bed bug problem? Well, if you've given them a reasonable opportunity to fix it and they haven't, then I would probably move out. But you got to be careful about bringing things to your new place because bed bugs can hitchhike and they often lay eggs and things. So you got to be really careful about what you bring to your new place, if anything. The red flags to look for when a landlord sends an exterminator out would be number one, if the exterminator doesn't even talk to you and they just come in and they just start spraying, but they don't do anything else. That's a red flag that that's gonna be an ineffective treatment. Bed bugs oftentimes needed to be treated through multiple methods. So there's traps that can be put on legs of a bed where the bed bugs will crawl up the trap and then they fall in. There's vacuuming and steaming and heat treatments and all kinds of treatments. So any exterminator that doesn't tell you what the plan is and have a multi-step plan is usually a red flag. And if they're simply coming in to spray chemicals and you don't even know what the chemicals are, that's often a huge red flag that they're just putting a Band-Aid on the Titanic. Can I sue my landlord for not fixing a bed bug issue? Yes, as long as you've notified them of the problem and they haven't done the inspections and the proper treatments, then yes, that would violate the warranty of habitability and you can sue your landlord for that, yes. Should I take off work if I have bed bugs? I wouldn't take off work, but I would be extra careful when you leave your house to make sure that they're not hitchhiking on you. So maybe just double check your clothes, try to blow dry your hair if possible, things like that. Check your purse backpacks, anything like that. What attracts bed bugs? Bed bugs feed exclusively on blood. And so they feed on humans. And when people sleep, they can sense the carbon dioxide and they come out of their hiding space. And they usually bite predominantly at night, though they will feed in the day too, but they generally will feed at night on humans. All right, so here are the top things that you need to do if you believe you have bed bugs in your apartment. So number one, notify your landlord right away. Number two is 
to try to document it. So I would take pictures of your bed bug bites. I would try to take pictures of the bed bugs. You may even be able to collect them and keep them in a bottle or a jar. And then the third thing is when the exterminator comes out, have a open dialogue with the exterminator, figure out what their plan is to treat them and how you can help out. And you know, the exterminator will often have some good things you can do. And also if they don't have anything that you can do, that's also a sign that they're probably not planning on having a real plan that will actually work. Mm -hmm.